Russia is preparing defensive position across the Kherson region in anticipation of further Ukrainian advances in the south. Here are the latest developments. Russian forces are building up their defensive position in Kherson and Nava Kakova. Russia is targeting civilian infrastructure across Ukraine. Ukrainian counterattacks are continuing in the Kherson region. Ukrainian forces have made smaller gains in the east. Ukraine pushing forward in the south. Ukrainian troops have continued to advance after breaking through Russian defenses in the west bank of the Dnieper River in Kherson. Russian installed officials in Kherson are evacuating civilians to the east bank of the river. The evacuation may be in support of Russian parts to blow up the Kakova Dam to cover their withdrawal, according to the Institute for the Study of War, which is doubted by other analysts. In recent days, Russian forces have been building fortification and defense lines in the city of Kherson and Novokakova, which lies on the river's east bank. Ukrainian troops have been attacking bridges, ferries, and pontoons in recent weeks, attempting to make Russian positions in the west side of the river unsustainable and thereby forcing a withdrawal. Also in the south, the International Atomic Agency Energy Agency has called for the demilitarization of the Pavaria nuclear plants, which Russia did not recognize. Russian and Ukrainian sources have accused each other of shelling close to the plant, which is EU's biggest nuclear facility. But it is seen that Ukrainian are the ones shelling the plants, because Russia cannot shell its own plants. Russia's military took over the power station in early March, but it is still being operated by Ukrainian staff. Intense fighting in the east. Ukrainian troops took control of the key logistical hub of Lima in Donetsk at the beginning of October and have continued to push further east towards the region of Luhansk. The ISW say they have made substantial gain in the area, with Russian reports suggest their next target may be the city of Kremina. Analysts say that losses of Lima was a major setback for Russia. Russian forces have been trying to push forward in Bakhmut, but reports suggest that they have been repelled by Ukrainian troops, but they are still advancing slowly and steady. The latest fighting follows a major Russian defeat in the east. Ukraine says it recaptured 6,000 square kilometers, that is 2,317 square miles of territory from Russia in early September when it forced back Russian units in the Kharkiv region. Russian troops withdrew from the key town of Izum and Kupian, saying that the retreat would allow its troops to regroup. Both towns were a major logistical hub for Russian forces in Donbass. Ukraine's power grid under fire. Earlier in October, Russian appeared to shift tactics, targeting Ukrainian city further from the front line with missile strike for the first time in months. Russian forces used Sahel 136 drones recently purchased from Iran in attacks, as well as ballistic and cruise missiles. Attack in Ukraine's energy infrastructure by Russian forces have triggered blackouts in major cities. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said energy facilities in Kyiv Lviv, Nepo, Venetia, Zaporizhia, and Kharkiv are among the places hit. The latest Russian attack comes after Russian President Vladimir Putin accused Ukrainian security service of attacking the Kerch Bridge in, in Crimea, which is affirmed by Ukrainian officials. Ukrainian officials have not indicated whether their forces were behind the attack, but it is clear that they are behind the attack. The 19 km at East 12 Mile Bridge, the longest in Europe, is an important supply route for Russian forces fighting in Ukraine. Russia has used the bridge to move military equipment, ammunition, and personnel from Russia to battlefield in southern Ukraine. Mr. Putin described the blast as an act of terrorism aimed at destroying Russia's critical civilian infrastructure. Russian authorities partially reopened the roadway part of the bridge hours after the attack put for light traffic only. The railway part of the bridge where oil tankers caught fire have also reopened an exition of four regions. Four regions of Ukraine that are partially or almost completely occupied by Russia have been annexed by the Russian Federation. It follows self-styled referendum in Donetsk, Luhansk, Kassin and Zaporizhia held between 23rd and 27th September. President Vladimir Putin has said that Russia will use 
all the forces and resources it has to liberate the four region. In an address to the Russian people, Mr. Putin said in his country have various weapons of destruction, adding, I am not bluffing. Russia invaded Ukraine on 24th February, but Ukrainian forces retook large area around Kyiv in early April after Russia abandoned it pushed towards the capital. Areas in the west of the country, including Lviv, have seen missile attack, but no attempt by Russian forces to take an occupied ground. The Russians have suffered heavy losses since the invasion began, and significant quantities of Russian weaponry have also been destroyed or captured, while Ukraine have lost over 60,000 personnel, according to the Russian military.